Welcome back to Lewis Family Farms and today we are going to be removing some of the watermelons um, from this little watermelon patch. Our first um, patch for this season 2022. Um, we had some rains recently and um, a lot of the vines are damaged. Uh, but the fruits are, are very good. They are very sweet. We have been reaping already. And this morning we are going to be going through and um, uh, taking out some of the larger ones. Um, they are not very large this 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 time around. And, and so as we go into the season, further down into the season, we'll see how things turn out if it gets any better. All right, so stay tuned.
It's not going to burst out of that is not on the ground. Okay. Alright, so, so remember what we're looking for yes. is oh daddy had cut that one from this morning. So that one was ripped already. But we're looking for the melons, is it the here? A little twirly twirly here. Yes. When it's dry, then the melon is ready. Alright? Yes. So well this one looks like the vine itself is dry. We're gonna pick this one. So you cut that one. And you're gonna cut it about here. Right here? Yes, careful with the knife. May I cut the melon? Alright, so that's two. So remember now we need to pick up two. Alright, so we'll check these, look at these and tell me if they are ready to be picked. This is ready to be picked. That's ready? Yes. Alright, so cut it then. Careful, I may you cut the vine. Alright, check the other one beside it. Now you break it off and no, it's not ready. Not it's not ready. ready. Oh, that's for that. Alright, so how many we need to take up now? That's four. Yes. Alright. Um Alright, come on, look at this one and tell me if it is ready. You remember this one that was on top of the stump? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's picked already. <clears throat> No, it's not picked, is it? Oh. So we'll let that one stay a little longer. Yeah, yeah this is going to be the last one for this evening. Careful. May you cut yourself? I don't know. Alright. You can lift it up? Or it's too heavy? Ah, you're a strong boy. Alright, put it where those are. All right, so we're gonna carry them out to the bag now. Daddy, this is light like a feather. Oh, I hear you. Light like, like, like a feather. <laughs> Alright, so um, while our melons did not benefit from that, uh, those heavy showers that we got recently, our corns have been doing phenomen phenomenally well. They are really, really racing to meet the sun. Blades are looking really clean. Green. And the pumpkins are coming nicely as well. There are no signs of worms on the plants. They're really, really doing well. Removing that bad leaf. Yeah, so we have never planted corn looking this promising. Alright, and so we are hoping for the best. The pumpkins are really, really vining, vining nicely. So as I said earlier, this corn seems to have germinated with about 99% germination. Germinated really, really well. Wonderful, healthy seeds. Really impressed with the germination rate of these seeds. So, Louis Scotch Nursery, big up yourself. And just look at the quality of the seedlings and the consistency 
all along the rows. Let's look at that. This is actually this this root has actually has four seeds in it. Four seeds three seedlings, sorry. All three seedlings are looking powerful. There's just some weeds here, white heads, kind of difficult to get rid of, but um, we'll have to work on them. A look at these pumpkins. These pumpkins are doing wonderful. And the corn's exceptional. So we are expecting an above average harvest from these corns. If they continue to grow, as long as they continue to grow the way they are growing. Just look at the rows. Really doing nice. Alright, so the more we farm, the longer we farm, is the more we realize how challenging farming can be. Here is one of our American apples. Growing right here in Jamaica and doing well. So yesterday we had a lot of pullouts. The sun was very, very hot, extremely hot yesterday. And um, what happened is that a lot of our our drip lines actually I don't know what happened. They just started expanding. The joints started expanding, and um, we had a lot of wasted of wastage of water yesterday. So I think one of the things that we did was that we tried to water when it was too hot and so that damaged um, the hose and so we have a couple of repairs to do from that uh, so I guess moving forward that's one of the things that we will not be doing again all right but all in all it was a wonderful day on the farm and um, we got to reap some watermelons and uh, yeah not bad at all all right so until next time blessed love from us here at lewis family farms